A pool hair test is done during a physical exam if your primary care provider suspects you may have increased hair loss. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a pool hair test. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Consider subscribing as I upload videos on a weekly basis. Roll the intro. Starting at the base of the skull, gently pull hair at base of skull by holding on to about 50 to 60 hairs at the surface of the skin and gently tug. You want to repeat the test in several sections of the skull. If you remove five or more in a single pull or more than 15 strands of hairs in three pulls, this is consistent with Telegon Effluvium. If you want more content on Telegon Effluvium, be sure to click on the link or link in description as hair loss is contributed to stress and I'll break down how stress causes hair loss. And if you appreciate the content, consider subscribing and give me a big thumbs up. So to add more value, this test is recommended that it should be done three days after shampooing to prevent a false negative test. On the bright side, if diagnosed with Telegon effluvium, it is reversible. However, make sure there are no other reasons for the cause. That's why you want to see your primary care provider. This can be managed by removing the underlying cause such as the stressful event or nutritional care. And my question to you is, do you know what medication helps with hair growth as this could be a NCLEX question or a common test question for your nursing exams. The answer is topical minoxidil. This can be given in the setting of alopecia or chronic telogen effluvium. Don't forget to check out my other video, How Stress Causes Hair Loss, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.